Philippines has been very welcoming to a unique blend of trendsetters across the globe, influencing our lifestyle. And there's no denying that Korean pop culture is now topping our chart. From K-pop to K-dramas, K-beauty and down to everything okay. The Hallyu fever continues to capture the hearts of Filipinos and even our stomachs with our favorite Korean food. They are now taking over not just our country, but the whole world. We're curious about how these crazes effortlessly make people grow so fun. That is why Home Shopping Network team flew to Korea to discover what's behind these Korean cultural trends circling around health, beauty, and food. And hopefully, we find out more and introduce a new set of global trends to the country. Why don't you join us and explore the land of the morning calm with us? And these are the people that you'll be seeing for the rest of the trip. Kaboom, Dawn, Mika, and Hani. We kick-started our Korean experience on a plane with a mouthful of bibimbap. See you in a few, Korea! After three hours and a half, we're here. Welcome to South Korea! Ginseng Corporation team waved us hello at the Incheon International Airport. From there, we rode a limousine van courtesy of KGC to a restaurant called Jin Pung Jong, where we had our first Korean meal shared with our newfound friends and other teams from Vietnam. <laughs> It's time to rest and get ready for our 9-day Korea trip. Seoul Riviera Hotel will be your home for the next 4 days, so see you guys tomorrow. Good morning from Korea! For our first day, KGC team will be touring us around, but before that, Breakfast! And the hunt for the Korean wave best kept secret starts now. Let's kick it off with our general icon of Korean traditional health, ginseng. We often see it from watching K dramas, those one sip ginseng juice to tea, and more. For the longest time, Koreans make it a habit to take care of their health and physics seriously. And we're just so hyped to know more about it and even try it ourselves. Advanced thanks to Korea Ginseng Corporation, the world's biggest and best Korea red ginseng manufacturer. Tour, we have Mr. George Ha from KGC to answer every curious question we're about to ask. First on the list, where exactly are we going? Uh, today we are going to R&D center of our company. And in this center, uh, many about like 200 researchers are researching about like uh, about red ginseng, like what it is good for, its efficacies, how to utilize it in the product, and developing new products. So, and in, in the afternoon, we are going to visit a manufacturing factory. Uh, it has the, one of the longest history in, in, in South Korea, and it is the biggest factory of ginseng in the world.
And we're here in Daejeon, Korea, where the KGC Research Center and basically where the magic happens. We were introduced to a complexity of ingredients of KGC products from tea, juice, candy, tablets, cosmetics, and many more. They explained to us how complicated it is to grow and nurture Korean ginseng. And did you know that it takes seven long years to harvest it? That's how you know that the KGC products are taking quality and health to the next level. For our best takeaway, we discovered that KGC also produces a ginseng-filled product for our pet dogs. Before setting foot on our next location, we refueled our stomach with some Korean traditional food. Now with a satisfied tummy, we rolled to our next stop. We have the ginseng factory located in one of Korea's provinces, Buya. We were able to witness the intricate process of their quality assessment and monitoring. We also swing by the KGC Museum just adjacent the factory. Here we had a 360 degree view of Korea's health icon, the Korean ginseng. It's safe to say that you can add KGC Museum to your itinerary when you visit Korea. We headed back with our heads slightly heavier, brimming all those knowledge, all thanks to KGC. And now we just can't wait to fill our stomachs full with bibimbap from inside the restaurant Kokong Palace in Myeongdong one of the most famous bibimbap places in Korea. In Sadong Restaurant Kokung Palace is the best restaurant that specializes in Chonju traditional bibimbap, stone pot bibimbap, and sashimi bibimbap. The team tasted light bibimbap on the airplane, but now we're ready to taste the authentic one. It's a wrap for our first day, and we can't wait to unbox more from the store. See you tomorrow! Up for our second day tour and we're raving for more about Korean ginseng. But for our mood setter, let's kick off the day with our Hotel Riviera Seoul's breakfast buffet. And we're back on tour with KGC now bound for Ichon, Korea. This time we'll get intimate and personal with Korean ginseng. Let's bounce to the ginseng farm. Here's for your sneak peek of the ginseng farming process. First, harvest the fully grown ginseng. Next, segregate the harvest according to size. And then, dry them up. And for the final step, clean them. So guys, we're not gonna tell anybody this, but we're gonna take the ginseng. <laughs> had a peek of the headquarters as well at the Korea Tobacco and Ginseng Corporation where we found some real good gems to try and take home. Helping around the farm, it's just fitting to take a break and take a sip at Sapoon Sapoon, KGC's cafe. Of 
course, there's no better way to end our KGC tour but to shop for some Korean red ginseng home. We'll show you where you can get your very own Korean red ginseng health products. It's here at KGC stores and KGC's Lotte Duty Free. We were so surprised to chance upon the most expensive Korean ginseng product. It's worth 150,000 pesos. Just whoa! We extend the relaxation and took a quick look at the ginseng spa. And because we got tired of shopping and looking for prizes we can't afford, we decided to snack on some treats from the famous Myeongdong street food. Part of the k is exploring the various flavors of Korea that are on its way to capturing the world palette. Thank you! After a while, we got really hungry again because that's basically how our tummies roll. So we went to Grand Walker Hill, Seoul and shared a farewell dinner with KGC team. Myeon Yulkwan is not just a restaurant. It's known as Korea's first Korean restaurant 100 years ago when the king was alive. The fact that normal people could eat king's food would shock a lot of people. Myeon Yul Kwan serves the king's cuisine to the public, so we got to taste the Joseon Dynasty king's food. It's a good time to brood about our eventful KGC tour. It was packed with new knowledge, new experiences, new friends, and new things to share. It's like mission accomplished for us to get a full exploration of Korean ginseng. Korean red ginseng products are something that I'll take with me everywhere I go to keep my energy boosted, especially for the rest of the trip. And of course, give it to my favorite people and even my pets. That's it for our second day covering our KGC tour. See you on our next episode and join us as we unravel more from Korean trends.